dealing with uh, difficult times is, is, is hard on everyone. It's hard pressed. It, it, our emotions, our heart, our the situations put an enormous intensity of pressure on us and trying to find that way through and endure is challenging. And, uh, you know, Jesus gathered his, his ragtag group of disciples at a very difficult time and they were overwhelmed. Why? Because death was pending on their lives and Jesus' life. And he gathered them and he said these infamous words, do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God, trust also in me. And profound in their statement, he, he recognized the reality that their fate was outside of their control. And so he gave them the solution that the solution was within their heart. That they needed this, this decision within their heart to endure, that, that they should not allow their hearts to be troubled because that is what will allow, allow us to overcome whatever obstacles come our way. And, and then he gives them the fame statement. Later he says that the most important thing is to love one another. So he, he helps us, he gives us these three keys. He says, number one, he says, you, you've got to trust in a power beyond yourself, trust in God. Number two, you've got to trust in him. What? His example of love. That, that's, we got to trust that. And then he gives them the charge to what? Lay down their lives for one another. No greater story ever told than that one. But we see it constantly pay back great dividends with many heroes in our past in 1914. Ernest Shackleton set out to reach the Antarctic and he set out with a crew of 27 men. Fortunately, that ship crashed and they were stranded for over 500 days. Not on land, in most cases on ice. And they were left stranded on an elephant island where he took his crew. He said, we gotta get off this ice, this sheet of ice. And they took a, uh, uh, a lifeboat and went 17 days in the raging sea and got to an island. And, uninhabited island and they waited and Shackleton knowing that death was pending he decided to lay down his life and he grabbed another group of men and he said let's set out in the rowboat let's set out in this lifeboat to bring back help and he went out and boy he traveled he traveled the open sea over 800 miles for him to reach a uh, fishing outboard island where he found help. And months later, four months later, they returned back to that, un that abandoned island and guess what? All 27 of his men were alive, waiting for his return. Why? They did not allow their hearts to be troubled. They trusted an outside power greater than themselves and they allowed the example of Ernest Shackleton to lay down his life for his men. In tough times, we gotta endure. And we've gotta lay down our life, trusting to a higher power, God Almighty, to get us through it. You can do it.